Hello everyone and welcome back to the Daily Bread Cooking Show. Today's a very special day because today we are graced with the presence of fellow guest chef Shama and he's going to be showing us some new and interesting recipes that I haven't even tried yet so we're all in for a really fun and exciting time. Thanks for having me. I hope everybody likes smoothies. I mean, who doesn't love smoothies, Sean? We're going to be blending some smoothies up today. First off, I call this the VBS smoothie. Ooh. The liquid base is apple juice. Okay. Pour some of that stuff in there. All right. Tell me when. When. <laughs> Animal crackers. Oh. oh. Here you go. You just dump all You'll of them in? just dump the whole bag okay. in there. Okay. A little bit of goldfish in there. Mm -hmm. A little right. bit of ice to chill. Don't mind if I do. You drink this when you were a kid? Yep, VBS smoothie. Mmm. Would you like to try some? No, no. <laughs> More for me. Up next for my dudes and dudettes, I'm gonna be making a youth group smoothie. First off, I like to start off with Mountain Dew. All right. Tell me, tell me when. I'll say when. When. All right. <laughs> Two bags of Doritos. Dump them right in. Blend it. <laughs> One slice of pepperoni pizza. Toss that bad boy Wonderful. in there. Wonderful. Okay. Ice to chill. Ice, as always. All right. This is great for camps, conferences, getaways, lock-ins. You're gonna, you're gonna try this one out too? Yup. The youth group smoothie. Mmm, -mm. delicious and nutritious. <laughs> this is the second to last one and it's the Chick-fil-A smoothie. We're gonna start off with a little bit of sweet tea. Whole cup. Waffle fries. The whole, the whole thing? <laughs> Absolutely. Chicken no. nuggets. <laughs> okay. The Chick-fil-A sauce. <laughs> and last but not least, ice to chill. This smoothie will have you saying, my pleasure. <laughs> mm. Mm, that was good. Buy it on Saturday, put it in the fridge in the morning, blend it together. And last and definitely not least. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> the 5,000 smoothie. The base for this is living water. Five loaves of bread. I gotcha. And then two fish. A little slippery. Mmm. Is it good? Mm hmm. Sadly, that is all the time that we have today for your daily dose of the Daily Bread Cooking Show. Tune in next week, same time. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. I can't wait to see you again. <laughs> Probably not. What? Hi guys, I'm so glad you are here for week three of our series on promise. We have learned that God promised to fix what was broken when we learned about Adam and Eve. Last week we learned about Noah and how God shows us mercy. This week we're going to learn about Abram and our big idea is that God's promises are for now and for later. So you guys are going to watch um, and our lesson on Abram right now, and then I will be back afterwards to talk with you a little bit more. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm Cassie. And welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Introducing your host, Carl. And your co-host, Cassie. Where we learn, where we grow, and we talk about Jesus. Once again, welcome to Grow TV. Cassie, how have you been? Good, pretty busy though. How about you? Well, same. What have you been busy with? I've been reading a lot about Noah since we talked about him last week, and I really like that part about God making a promise to him and his family. Yeah, that's one of my favorite parts too. God's promises are really cool. They are. I just hope I can get a promise for myself one day. What do you mean? Well, I've never gotten a promise from God. Sure you have. I think I would know, Carl. 
Well, think about all the promises that are in the Bible. I know, there are some cool ones, but I don't think they're for me. So that's why I'm waiting for my promise. Wait a second. I think we need to play a game right now. What game? It's called Promise or Not. How do you play? Well, it's easy. I'm going to read off some promises that are in the Bible, and you're going to have to figure out whether or not it's a promise for you or not. Got it? Got it. All right. Let's do Isaiah 40, 29. God gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Hmm. I don't think that's for me. All right. Round two. James 4, 7. Submit yourselves to the Lord. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. That's a tough one, but I'm going to say not for me. All right, third and final round, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Now, I've heard that verse before, but I don't know if that's a promise for me, so I'm going to say no. Okay, well, let's look at the scoreboard. We gave you the three promises from the Bible. You chose that zero of these promises are for you. So let's see if you're wrong or right. How many of these promises were made for Cassie? Whoa, all three. Isn't that incredible? I guess, but I don't know. I just don't know if that makes any sense. I can understand that can be confusing, but when promises are made to God's children, that means all of God's children. Remember Abraham? Abraham from the Old Testament? Yep, God not only promised that he would take care of him and his family, but that his legacy would continue forever. So God made him a specific promise? Yep, and that promise wasn't just for Abraham, but it was for his kids, and their kids, and their kids, and their kids, and their kids. Basically forever. And that's the cool thing about God. I guess you're right. It's pretty cool that God's promises are for now and for later. And you know what's even cooler? Ice cream. Yeah, well, no. That does sound pretty good. But what I was going to say is... Polar bears. They are pretty cool. What? No, I was... I was going to say that's our big idea. Our big idea is polar bears? No, the other thing. Ice cream. Yay, that's our big idea. What? No. Okay, this is getting out of control. Just roll the big idea intro. Today's big idea is polar bears holding ice cream. What? No. Man, this show is going off the rails. Sorry. This week's big idea is God's promises are for now and for later. So on the count of three, let's all say it together. Ready? Ready. One. Two. Three. God's promises are for now and for later. Woohoo! Good job, everyone. That was great. So this was a good day. Sure was. I'm glad you now realize that God's promises are for you now and for later. Yeah, I'm also really excited too. For what? For the polar bears eating ice cream, of course. Are you kidding me? There's no polar bears in Florida. It's way too hot, first of all. And t secondly, I'm kind of terrified of polar bears. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. Hi guys, that was fun, wasn't it? Uh, I want to read a verse for you from the Bible. Remember, all of our stories this series are in Genesis, which is the very, very first book of the Bible. And this is Genesis 15, 6, and it says, Abram believed the Lord. Do you think it was hard for Abram to believe God? Remember, he was really old, like older than a grandpa old, and had, didn't have any children yet. And God told them and Sarah that they were going to have a baby. And then... God told him that was going to happen right now because God's promises are for now. But then God also told him that his kids and his grandkids and his great-grandkids and his great-great-grandkids, it would go on and on and on and on. And his family would eventually have so many people in it that it would be more than the stars in the sky. Have you guys ever gone out and looked at the stars at night? There are so many of them. That might have been a little bit hard for Abram to believe, but he did because he trusted God and he knew that God always keeps his promises. And I want you guys to remember that. God always keeps his promises. I will see you next time. Bye. Shout
Joshua 21, 45. Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Every one was fulfilled. Joshua 21, 45. Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Every one was fulfilled.